This interactive training provides personality type language to improve your life and career and to help you appreciate yours and others' behaviors, strengths, values, and motives. It'll also help you identify your self-estimated personality type. And I'm here to guide you to an understanding of type theory so you can use it to improve your life and enhance the effectiveness of building relationships. The theory of psychological type was introduced in the 1920s by Carl Jung. The MBTI tool was developed by Isabel Briggs Myers in the 1940s. Each year, millions of people worldwide complete the indicator since its first publication in 1962. The MBTI is not a test. There are no right or wrong answers, and you can't fail. In fact, I can't guess your intelligence, mental wellness, skills, motivation, relationships, or even success from these results. I want you to think about when you meet someone and you find yourself thinking, they're not my type. Or those days when you say, I'm not myself today, or I'm beside myself. All these statements, they, they reflect self-awareness that there are normal ways you act versus different ways that don't feel comfortable, unlike your normal self. Jung said that much seemingly random variation in the behavior is actually quite orderly and consistent, being due to basic differences in the ways individuals prefer to use their perception and judgment. Personality type, as defined by the MBTI, is made up of these four scales or elements. Each scale is made up of two psychologically opposite words that identify ways of being, and you'll have a natural preference for one of the two opposite ways on each scale. To demonstrate this concept of opposites, I want you to just sign your name, you, you know, your signature on a piece of paper. Okay, good. Now, put the pen in the other hand, the opposite hand, and sign your name again. Might take a moment. <laughs> Would you agree that when you used your preferred hand, you'd describe signing as effortless, as autopilot, automatic, fast, natural, and unconscious? But when you switched hands using your non-preferred hand, it was harder. You have to focus, concentration, it's slow, awkward, looks childlike, and it was very conscious. This handwriting exercise illustrates the concept of opposites on each of the four scales. You can and do use both of the opposites. One of each pair is more natural, it tends to be more trusted, it produces better results. That preference is the one you use more often and more effectively. Most people use both hands all the time, to drive, to type, to eat, to play sports, a musical instrument, but most people prefer one hand to the other. With practice, you can learn to use your non-preferred hand better. Again, by the opposites on these scales, we mean psychological, not logical opposites. You can't do both things at exactly the same time. For example, you extrovert and introvert, but you can't focus on the outer world and your inner world simultaneously. You may go back and forth quickly, but you can't be in both places at once. And the theory holds there's a hardwired preference for one place over the other. It's like a valve theory. So for example, if sensing is on, intuition's off, and so on. You'll learn more about each of the four scales and you'll be asked to differentiate. You may prefer to think of yourself though as down the middle, believing you're striking a balance, showing you use both. Yes, everyone uses both. The goal is to know which preference is more automatic, unconscious, and natural, like signing your name with your preferred hand. And which preference is more conscious, takes more time and energy, like writing with your non-preferred hand. Each of the opposites is equally valuable. There is no good or bad, just as there were no right or wrong answers when you took the MBTI. The eight preferences are represented by one of these eight capital letters. E, I, S, N. You'll see that the I has already been used to represent introvert, so a capital N is used to represent intuition. Then we have T, F, J, and P. Do your best to determine which preference in each pair contains more descriptions that feel like you when you're, well, most you, natural and comfortable. Your goal is to identify your four-letter MBTI self-estimate.